Hi all, today's topic is subgroups. What do you mean by subgroup? Means a subset H of a group. A star operation is called as a subgroup. If uh, three conditions are satisfied under the binary operation, it is star. Okay. So the first condition is nothing but closure property. Closure property means when A and B belongs to H, then A star B belongs to H. It is a closure property. Second is identity property. E is the identity element. So E belongs to H means it is an identity element. Inverse satisfies. Inverse is nothing but A belongs to H means then A inverse also is belongs to H. All these three conditions satisfied means it is a subgroup. So H star is a, called as a subgroup of G star. So for example, Q plus operation is a subgroup of R plus operation. This is the first example. Second example, R plus is a subgroup of C uh, for a dot operation and plus operation. It is satisfied for both. So, G is a group. Then, uh, multiplication, under a multiplication is a group where G, uh, we are taking to be the elements to be plus or minus 1 and plus or minus i. Then, the subgroups are H equal to 1 and minus 1 are the subgroups of G. So, theorem theorem only one theorem here the necessary and sufficient condition for a non-empty subset h of a group g star to be a subgroup is a comma b belongs to h then a star b inverse belongs to h it's necessary and sufficient condition means necessary and sufficient condition what is the meaning of that means necessary and sufficient condition generally necessary and sufficient condition means we have to take one condition and prove the other case other you have to take and prove the first case so that only we have to do so we are going to take h is a subgroup h be a subgroup we have to take it and prove, we have to prove it, A star B inverse belongs to H. Okay, so this is first way. Again, A star B inverse belongs to H, we have to take it. We have to prove to be H B a subgroup, we have to prove. H B a subgroup means all the three conditions are satisfied means it's a subgroup. So that way only I am going to prove this. This is called necessary and sufficient condition. That only I am going to do in this. First case, I am going to take H to be a subgroup. H is subgroup means, we know that H is a subgroup means A and B belongs to two elements, belongs to one H only. Then I can write, it's nothing but A star B belongs to one H because it's a subgroup. Subgroup means it is the meaning closure condition satisfied. So, A star B I can write. I know that already B belongs to H means B inverse also is belongs to on a H by a inverse property of the subgroup. So, if A and B belongs to H means A and B inverse also belongs to H means that I can write it as a again product I can write A star B inverse belongs to H. We have proved it. A star B inverse belongs to H. We have proved. I have taken H B a subgroup. I have proved A star B. This condition I have proved. Okay. I have to now prove A star B inverse belongs to H. I am going to take it. I am going to prove H as a subgroup. I am going to prove that only. So, this I am going to take. So, I have taken that equation to be equation 1. Okay. So, by, wherever I need, I am going to use. Okay. So, I have to prove H is a subgroup. I have to prove. Subgroup means I have to prove it's a closure property, inverse and identity. I am going to prove one by one, uh, uh, normal one by one you can prove or our wish which I am going to prove. First, I have taken A, it belongs to an H. A belongs to H means I am going to put B equal to A in the given, I, I, I have taken the equation on equation A star B inverse. So, in this I am going to put B equal to A. So, I have put a star A inverse equal to belongs to H. E belongs to H. Now, E belongs to H means it's identity. We have proved identity first. Okay. Second case to prove. E belongs to H we know. Okay. So, now only we proved in this. So, E belongs to H means A belongs to H means A equal to E and B equal to A. I am going to put in the equation. So, when I put it. So, E A instead of A E. Okay. 
So instead of D, I am going to put A, A inverse. So A inverse belongs to H. E into A inverse is nothing but same A inverse. It is the inverse property. Inverse property also I have proved. So now, so A inverse belongs to H, I know. I have to prove closure property. So for that, from a B, I know that A inverse belongs to H. So same way, so B inverse also belongs to H. If A inverse belongs to H means B inverse also belongs to H only. So A equal to A and B equal to B inverse, I am going to put in an equation 1. If I put A star B inverse, the whole inverse, so whole inverse is nothing but it's ordinary A, B. Okay belongs to H. So, A, B belongs to H means it's a closure property. So, all the three condition verified. So, it's verified means it's a H is a subgroup. So, completed. So, we have properties, two properties. One property is nothing but intersection of a subgroup is also a subgroup. Uh, union of a subgroup it's not a subgroup. For that, uh, we cannot prove it union, but intersection we can prove. Intersection proof only I am going to do. Union we cannot prove it, but we can give an uh, example for a union. So, these two are the properties, additional properties. So, the first property first I will prove. Prove that intersection of a subgroup of a group is also a subgroup of a group. So, how to prove it means? So, it is given to be first we know that G star operation be a group. I am going to take uh, two elements okay. H1 because intersection means when I compare with the two elements only I can do it H1 comma H2 be two subgroups. Taken two element okay H1 and H2 are the two subgroups of C. Now, I have to prove H1 to prove what I have to prove to prove this only I need to prove H1 intersection H2 is a subgroup I need to prove. If I prove our property is completed. So, now this is the subgroup I have to prove. We know that E okay, identity element E belongs to H1 and same E belongs to H2 also. So, E belongs to H1 intersection H2. What is the meaning? H1 intersection H2, it is not an empty set. That is the meaning. It belongs means intersection. Normally, we know that any intersection, okay, so, when I take it, I will not get an empty set. So, it is not an empty set. It's the term I have written. So, now A and B belongs to A and B belongs to H1 intersection H2. If two element belongs to H1 intersection H2 means then I can write A star B inverse also belongs to H1 intersection H2. Okay. So, we have A star B inverse belongs to H1 intersection H2. So, now for this, I have to prove, this only I have to prove. A star, A star B inverse belongs to H1 intersection H2 only. I have to prove. Okay. Because it's a subgroup means if I prove this, it's a subgroup. Okay. So, that only I am going to prove it. So, now if I prove it means I know that A comma B belongs to H1. And same way A comma B H1. Okay. A comma B belongs to H2. Separate, separate. Okay. So, if it is belongs means A star B inverse already we know that also belongs to H1. And same way, A star B inverse also belongs to H2. Okay. Because already we have taken H1, H2, what I have taken are the two subgroups I have taken. That reason only I am writing H1, H2 are the two subgroups.
okay so now multiply it a star a star a star b belongs to b inverse belongs to h1 intersection h2 separate separate it belongs means intersection also it belongs to so we have proved the computer a theorem is wherefore h1 intersection h2 is a subgroup of g my second property is the union of union of two subgroups of a group g star need not be a subgroup It is need not be a subgroup. For that, uh, need not means uh, we can, we need not prove it, but we have to give an uh, example for that. Then uh, it is uh, like uh, it is like a proved. So for that example, so we know that so which are all means uh, so, so it is a subgroup group means it is uh, we know that. Uh, is that plus operation and two is that plus operation and three is that plus operation are these subgroups are these subgroups of is that plus One is that means it's a set of all integer. Two is that means two times okay plus operation okay. So two is that it's nothing but we know that it is two times of every is that plus or minus two plus or minus four plus or minus six etc. Correct? Three is that it's nothing but Three times of z zero plus or minus three three plus or minus six plus or minus nine plus etc. It goes on. So now it's not a subgroup means two element two belongs to two z correct? But element three also belongs to three times of z yes. But two belongs to two times of z. Union three times of z when I do it, and the same way three belongs to two times of z. Union three times of z when I take it. What is the meaning? Two plus three five. So two plus three is nothing but five. Five whether it belongs to union two z union. Three is that whether it is a union of this? No, it is not at all. It is not does not belongs at all. So therefore, two is that union. Three is that. It's not a subgroup. So only give an example when it is not a. Union is not a subgroup means like this one example. If we give, it is proved. Thank you.